A deluge of water quickly consumed much of Greensboro. Tonight, emergency teams responded to several water rescues across the city. Yeah, you can see here in this video, there's a car surrounded by water at United Street and Ashland Drive. The water came halfway up the car. At Revolution Mill in Greensboro, flooding completely washed over a bridge over Buffalo Creek. All the overflowing water looks like a river rushing through. At the Bearded Goat Bar in Revolution Mill, management put up floodgates they used during extreme flooding. The bar owner says they were told to get out because of all that flooding. And check out this video from Wendover Avenue where it goes over battleground in Greensboro. You can see cars driving through the flood water and it's spraying well above the roof of the cars. Now this will put the rain into perspective for you. Over a five hour period tonight, parts of Greensboro got about two months worth of rain. Our team coverage begins tonight with Marissa Tancino, who is live in Greensboro. And Marissa, you're at Wendover Avenue in Cridlin, where there's still a lot of lingering flood water. Yeah, we've been here for the past couple of hours. If you take a look behind me, you can see police have blocked off this street and they're turning around cars as they come down this road. You can't come down here if you're trying to come this way. And this is the reason why. Take a look over here. Cridland Road just covered in water. And this water has held pretty strong for the past few hours that we've been here. We have noticed that it has gone down a little bit past a couple hours ago. It was about halfway up those orange cones there at the entrance of this gas station. Again, this is the corner of Cridland Road and Wendover Avenue. But this has been pretty much the same story throughout the city of Greensboro tonight. Take a look at this video here. This is a look at the corner of Ashland Drive and United Street. Greensboro Fire Rescue says two rescues happened here earlier this evening. Chief Curtis Brown says they got a call around 815 that a truck was stuck in the water here. When officials got there, they helped that person out of their truck and he was able to back his truck out. The next person, though, wasn't so lucky. When fire officials blocked off the street there, Brown says another car drove around the rescue lights and got stuck in the water. Eventually, rescue crews were able to get him out of his car. This was video from Wendover Avenue and Big Tree Way. You can see lots of flash flooding here. Another car there got stuck in the water, causing some backups at that intersection at this time. Now, cars continue to try to come down here at the corner of Wendover Avenue and Cridland Road. And again, it is blocked off because of this water that you see behind me. You can't come either way through this intersection. Uh, so we're going to remain here for uh, the, the next short time throughout the night. We'll continue to keep you updated on these road closures, so be sure to stick with us. Back to you guys.